I just want to take a second and give you a quick tip on having amazing flower boxes or hanging baskets or pots. I found the secret weapon. What I like to plant are petunias, but not just any petunias. You need to get wave petunias. You don't have to deadhead them. They go crazy with lots of blossoms. And I actually just heard this year a rumor that Proven Winner brand has something called Supertunia that's even bigger. So these are wave petunias. I have two that are in here right now. For a hanging basket or pot about this big, you will want three wave petunias. But I hear that super petunia, you can just have one and it'll just be enormous, even more flowers. I'm gonna try that out next year. But I do know from last year, wave petunias are amazing. Um, like I said, I only have two in here right now because I'm gonna plant one more thing in here. But I love, with my petunias, I love to plant sweet potato vine. And last year it went crazy. I had hanging baskets last year and it was just hanging all the way down to the ground. It was kind of even taking over my petunias so I had to keep cutting them back. And uh, we had this sweet little garden store right down the street and they retired and I missed them so much. So this year it took me forever. I went to like 10 different stores trying to find the right color of wave petunia. But they gave me a tip that I hadn't tried yet, but they said there is a sweet potato vine brand, uh, brand that grows a little bit slower. And I'll get you that name probably right here. I'll write it right there. I can't think of it right now. But also this year, I'm gonna try something different I'm so excited about. I have in my window boxes this beautiful little thing right here, Creeping Jenny. So I just love how it looks. I love that chartreuse color. It's really pretty. Oh, okay, but here's a tip. So in years past, I have tried, oh, sorry about the sun, to grow my petunias, but they get eaten by little worms, right? Totally sucks. You put in all that work and then they're just wiped out. I have the secret weapon. Let me go get it. Look what I just found. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, little frog and I are gonna give you our secret weapon. Captain Jack's dead bug. This is a bacteria that they randomly found, you can look at the frog while I'm talking, on the floor of a distillery, like on an island. That's like the only place I've ever found it. Oh, hello Cooper. And it, like the little worms, they eat it, and then they have heart attacks and they die. Because I had tried other sprays and like just nothing would get rid of them. So, anyways, Captain Jack's. Right? And then you mix it, the instructions are on there. But I use that much Captain Jack's and then I fill with water. So a fourth a tablespoon of Captain Jack's and eight ounces of water. Mix it together in a little spray bottle and you just spray all the flowers. Just a light mist. Um, and that was plenty to take care of. Oh, I think last year I had four huge hanging baskets and one, two, three, four, five, six uh, little pot planters like this. Thank you, Captain Jack. If you decide to do a hanging basket, what you wanna do so that your dirt holds in the most moisture possible is when you get the potting soil and don't go too frugal on the potting soil. It makes a difference, it really does. So get some good miracle Grow or brand, brand name that's gonna hold your moisture in because those hanging baskets dry out so quickly. But when you get your soil, um, hopefully you have some leftover or you could put your soil in a wheelbarrow, but you wanna use the bag, the plastic bag. So cut out a piece, cut out a hole and put that down in the base of your hanging basket. And mine I had, you know, the, um, looks like dead hay. What is that, peat moss? I don't know, whatever you put, the normal thing that, like cocoa, oh my gosh. I'll put the name of it right here because I can't think of it. But put your plastic piece in there and poke some holes in, but that is gonna keep your moisture in. Um, so definitely for hanging baskets, I didn't do that. I just put landscaping fabric in my window boxes just so the dirt didn't fall through the holes, but frugal tip of the day right there. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Can't wait to show you them once they've exploded into plants. Happy frugling. I hope you find a project you can do this weekend. Please hit subscribe below and watch any one of our other videos. All very entertaining and important. Happy frugling. Yeah. Kids, look at this, guys. No. Oh, look at his legs. They're yellow. Oh, no, Cooper. No, Cooper. Oh, did you see that?
Isn't that amazing? He's so pretty. Okay, nope, 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 nope.